So this is a nice Arduino project. It shows how you can use a rotary switch on an analog input to display up to uh, 12 values. As you can see I've got a rotary switch here and when I move the switch around the LED follows it around. What's nice about this is we're only using one analog input and one digital output. So I'll just zoom in and you can see how I've achieved that. So I think you can see that I've got resistors soldered onto each pin of the switch. These are one kilo ohm resistor and they're all seriesed up, there's 11 of them in total. And they go all the way around and at the end uh, there's a red wire going to 5 volts and on the first wire, which is switch position 0 or 1, however you look at it, is the ground wire. So what happens is at each switch position you have a fraction of the 5 volts depending on which switch position it is and it's easy to work out which position the switch is in depending on the voltage. So I'll just see if I can explain the program. Uh, when I first attempted this uh, I figured the easiest way would be to look at the analog value and then work out whether it was higher or lower than halfway point and depending on that answer you eliminate half the positions and then you do it again halfway and then you eliminate another half so you end up with only three positions left and after four checks you've uh, got to your final value or switch position and that seemed like a good way to do it and then I realised actually all you have to do is take the analog value and divide it by 93 and 93 is derived from 1023 maximum bits divided by 11 resistors. Um, when I tried that I found it didn't work. Uh, on some positions it was showing the wrong value, it was showing one less. And what it turned out to be is that uh, in, for example, the first switch position it should have been 93. Uh, divided by 93 would give you 1. However, the actual analog value was 91, which gave a result of just slightly less than one, which then indicated zero. It was 0. 0.99. Um, the easy way around that was to use the round function, so it actually took the value of 0. 0.99 and then rounded it up to one. So that's what I've used in the other two programs. So hopefully that's been of use to you. It's a nice little way to use a rotary switch with only one analog input.